guys welcome back to another video my name is Vanessa and if you're new here welcome and if you're not welcome back so before I get into today's video I'm gonna need you guys to go hit that subscribe button go show some love um because yeah like I appreciate everybody who watches everybody who likes everybody who comments and everybody who shares like I'm appreciative of any little type of support. Today, I'm gonna be doing a highly, highly, highly requested get to know me in Q&A. So, any, I asked you guys some questions on Instagram and you guys got back to me with a lot of questions. So, I'm gonna answer all your curious questions. Some of you guys were being a little spicy too, so I don't know what that was all about, but. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get into these questions. And again, go follow me on Instagram. Go follow me on TikTok. Um, I have Twitter. It's all the same thing. Nessa Pop, Nessa with three S's, P-O-P. -P. Matter of fact, pause this real quick. Pause. Go to the bottom of the screen. Click subscribe. And give this a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up as well uh, as well as putting on your push notifications so you can get notified every time I drop a new video every time you don't want to miss a beat stay you know stay on top of it just stay on top of it blah, 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 blah. stay on top of it all let's go ahead and get into these questions and if y'all hear little pitter patters and little playing my dogs are playing right here so let's start off with my name. So my name is Vanessa. My name is Vanessa Keel. People call me Ness, Nessa. People call me Pop. Um, yeah, but the main thing that people mainly call me is Ness or Nessa. Um, my height. So I'm 5'11". I'm basically, I'm, let's just say, let's just round it up and let's just say I'm six foot. Because I am six foot. Like, I, I'll insert a picture right here of me next to somebody, like, that's like average size. And yeah, I just tower over everybody because I'm so tall. Like, so tall. I'm not even exaggerating. I'm tall. I'm big. I'm a big girl. My age, I'm 22 years old. My birthday's in March. My birthday's March 5th. I am a Pisces. I'm a water sign. And yeah. Next question is Who is my best friend? My best friend is Christy. We've been best friends since since kindergarten, since like preschool. Uh I have some I have a picture. I'll, I could put it right here. So we've been friends for let's see I want to say majority of our life like people would start preschool kindergarten or daycare like like what four five years old anyways that's how long we know each other so so yeah we've been best friends for a long love you matter of fact let's call her real quick if she even answered like if it was call somebody you know that's not gonna answer the phone and I win a thousand dollars, I'm calling her. Let's see. I can I can almost guarantee she's not gonna answer the phone. Well, we know she don't love me, so there goes that. Do you have a crush? No, I don't. Mm. No. And I, oh. I don't have a crush. Don't have a crush. I'll just follow it up with this question because it was asked multiple times. Am I single or in a relationship? I am very much single and very much ready to mingle. So if you are family oriented, if you're kind, respectful, 
taller than me, preferably 6'3 and taller. Um, you're emotionally um, available, I would say. Uh, and if you want to give me princess treatment, tap in. Tap in. Because the streets is just mm -mm, a pretty girl like me, a lover, pretty girl like me. I don't need to be in the streets. I need to be cuddled up warm with my husband. Like. But no, that's not what it's given out here. It's given lock your heart up, throw the key away, and don't even talk to these boys. That's what it's given. <clears throat> have I ever fell in love? Yes, I have. I've been in love. My favorite food, my favorite food I would say is like Italian. I really like pizza and pasta. Like that's my favorite. And then I like seafood, of course. Seafood is really good. Um... Mexican food's good, soul food, I love soul food, some mac and cheese, uh, yeah. My longest relationship was my previous relationship. We were together for basically three years, um, yeah. How many siblings do I have? I only have one sister, um, she's in most of my videos, if you just haven't noticed, if you haven't noticed already, um, I have a younger sister, she's 18 and her name is Jasmine. I would say we have a I would say we have a pretty good relationship. Our relationship is good. <clears throat> Show your lock screen. Okay. My lock screen is oh, let me clear this up. It is my baby. Her name is Vanilla. She's 12 years old and she's my childhood pet. Um, I've had her since I was, let's say, 10, 10 years old. Yeah, about 10, 9, 10, something like that. How do you manage to stay confident and motivated to go to the gym? So, I don't. I don't. But let's just say that. Like, not every day you're gonna feel beautiful not every day you're gonna be happy not every day you're gonna feel confident every day is not gonna be a good day like let's just put it right there but it's up to you to i just see it as no matter if i'm having a good day or not was i productive is the question did i do what i need to do for the day even if i didn't feel like going to the gym did i show up to the gym um even also just as for like appearance like if you look good going to the gym you'll feel good going to the gym and you'll just feel cute confident like you I mean you have to see what works for yourself honestly um but for me it's really just discipline I feel like being an athlete has played a role in it because being an athlete especially a student athlete you have to have a lot of structure and time management and a lot a lot a lot of discipline so I feel like that's just been instilled in me as a young girl so girl it ain't no time to be sad you either gonna sad you gonna be sad in the bed and get no games or you're gonna be sad in the gym with a dump truck let me know let me know which one um do you have any kids no fuck them kids fuck you wait no fuck them kids and fuck you too matter of fact go ahead real quick <laughs> girl fuck them kids and fuck you too favorite holiday um my birthday um yes my birthday my birthday is a holiday i don't even know what i'm gonna be doing for my 23rd birthday i don't think i'm gonna be doing anything because i have um a nephew and a niece coming i'm so excited i have some little ones coming into my life and 
yeah I am I'm just I'm really not worried about my birthday honestly I'm ready to celebrate the new lives that are be that are gonna be coming into my life and everybody else's lives around me so I'm really looking forward to that favorite place you traveled to so far um I think mm, I've been to a lot of places so I want okay so top three would probably be all the places I've been to like the experiences were just all different so and unique so I don't know Spain Dominican Republic Greece that's what that, those are that, that would be my top three this one's a good one how do you travel so young and manage your expenses so again coming back to being disciplined and having a plan and having structure preparation is key honestly like without preparation will lead to poor performance and that's in anything you do in life literally anything you do but to answer the question it's really not that hard to actually to travel um i think the most difficult part would be finding affordable flights so like i've traveled internationally obviously and um you really just gotta find the perfect days and times and from third parties would you get them directly from the airline but you just have to do research for when you want to travel what dates are the cheapest if it's tourist season if it's not tourist season you really just have to plan it, and it's really not hard the only thing again it's probably difficult is finding an affordable flight like why did you and your boyfriend pick up so um i just feel like it was it was just a whole bunch of stuff honestly i just felt like we weren't compatible anymore it was maybe like don't get me wrong like i don't have nothing negative to say about this person but i just felt like we were growing apart from each other um we didn't really see eye to eye for like the last few months of our relationship um and yeah we both have stuff that we need to work on in order to like to be one in a relationship i feel like we were still um how what am, how am i supposed to how am i saying this? we were just on different paths and like we weren't able to get on the same page most of the time no bad blood or nothing like i always like to end any relationship that i'm in on a positive note because life's too short to be holding any grudges or having hate towards anybody me personally i like to keep everything in my life positive because that's what's going to come back to me so yeah you're introvert or extrovert it depends so if i maybe like have a little liquor in my system i'm a i'm a bit more um extrovert so i like to be maybe talkative here and there but it, i'm really selective about who like i give my energy to so i'm just good at i'm just good at uh, reading people like really well so like if i'm out and about like i could just catch the vibe immediately like if this bitch is a hater or not or if she cool like oh you're pretty i'm pretty we should like i'm one of those girls i'm a girl's girl so if you hate me i don't know maybe your nigga like me think i'm cute something but hey um but in general i'd say i'm an introvert i'm not gonna speak to nobody unless i'm spoken to um unless like i'm like you're my friend and we're i'm comfortable with you then yeah but other than that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not friendly, so. What do you look for in a guy? Recently, I haven't been looking. My eyes and my ears have been turned off. So, but to answer the question, um, somebody who's confident, who knows what they want, um, again, respectful, kind, like, you have to be kind and empathetic because i am and yeah no i think people who are like assholes or like or just like do too much you know like anyways i'm a positive and happy person most of the time so that's what i want around me um obviously have to be attractive um i prefer somebody taller than me i've never really 
you know, you gotta be taller than me. Um, you have to have motion, as in motion, you, I don't want, I'm, cause my life, if I feel like I'm stagnant, I'm doing something about it immediately. Immediately. So yeah, so I need to be having motion doing something 24 seven. So yeah, if you're a couch potato, have no ambitions, have no drive, if you have no discipline, no. And of course, yeah. let's say um, I'm more on the freakier side, so you definitely gotta match that. But that's at least my worries. But still, let's just say I have a good head on my shoulders. Next question. What are you going to school for? So I am going to school for international business. Um, I actually have, I have a few things in the works. So stay tuned to that. Um, yeah, but I'm going to school for international business. I have an idea of what I want to do with the degree, but you know, no rush or anything. What is your love language? My love language would be I love reassurance so I just love being reassured I love feeling comfortable I love feeling confident in whatever relationship I'm in but I'm guessing this is in a romantic relationship acts of kindness um, I like the little stuff like just opening the doors for me being a gentleman being worried about if I ate like that's a big one like <laughs> you'd be surprised somebody who's consistent i love consistency consistency is just just it just tells me like i want this girl in my life being driven um and physical touch of course like i love i i just love to be okay tmi but it's me this is where i can't be out here just doing the d with everybody because i love to be intimate and like passionate with my intimacy if you know what i mean and you can't be doing that with everybody so like first of all that's dirty second of all there's such thing as soul ties and let's just say the way i'll be doing the deed shit. i just know i can't do that shit with everybody because literally not to be on all cocky shit but literally every person that I've been with has told me I got my shit on lock. Like, literally. Literally. Got my shit on lock. But anyways, we're not gonna speak <sighs> turn ons. Um non non physical turn ons. Compliments. Compliments turn me on cause I'm conceited, so if you want me feeling good about myself, make my head bigger than what it is, I like compliments. Compliments get me there, okay? Okay. Mm. I just got flashbacks. I literally just got the chills from a flashback. I don't know if you can see. Y'all have to see this. I know you see those chills. Oh! Okay. Um, turn offs. Again, if you're an asshole, I don't like people that are not kind, that are not nice, um, considerate of other people, or just considerate in general. Unconsistent people. Like, if you're, in, if you're gonna be inconsistent, don't talk to me, please. Just leave me alone. Being inconsistent is not cute. Enforcing sexual acts or being a weirdo, like who are you? Like what the fuck? Why do I owe you a piece of cooch? I don't. Uh, next question. How are you really? I'm guessing they mean like mentally and emotionally, but I would say recently I've had more bad days than good um 
being a little vulnerable but hey I don't mind um yeah I would say recently more bad days than good um it's just really stressful like just maintaining a healthy lifestyle which is whether it's from going to the gym, eating healthy, getting full eight hours of sleep, drinking water, um, going out with my friends, taking care of like my personal and like my outside, being outside well-being, taking a break sometimes. Um, people that like expect things from me. So I have a lot expected of me and a lot to um, what, what's the word I'm trying to say? Um, like I have a lot going for myself, so people expect a lot from me. So I just feel like that holds a lot of weight on me, and sometimes it can take a toll on like just how I feel and stuff. That okay, this topic is like can go on and on and on but to answer the question I would say I'm pretty I'm decent but I feel like I can I can do better I can I can be feeling better um maybe you guys can give me suggestions on how you guys stay afloat with life and try to stay consistent and happy even though I know again everybody's not always happy 100% of the time but we never know what somebody's going through, so that takes back to my point. Always be kind and nice. Because you don't know what people are going through. Like, next question. How long have you been playing soccer? Okay, so that's a great question. Um, I've been playing soccer since... I've known my best friend, basically. So since preschool and kindergarten and daycare, like... I've tried everything up until I was in elementary, middle school. So I've done ballet, I've done gymnastics, I've done softball, um, I've done piano, soccer, basketball, I've done karate, kickboxing. Um, I feel like I'm leaving some stuff out. I've obviously did soccer and I just felt like soccer was something that really just caught my attention I just I just loved playing it um my first team was actually a co-ed team with um some friends that I actually know to this day so yeah so shout out to them let's see what high school did I go to I went to Mission um it, it is in San Francisco who do you look up to um I look up to my mother um she's such a strong-minded woman um she like is such a hard worker her work ethic is top tier like i don't know how that woman does it sometimes like she now you think i be getting to the bag she really be getting to the bag like that woman is she's the definition of a boss period i want to be like her shit but yeah I would say that somebody who I look up to or idolize. How many dogs do you have? I have two dogs. I have a full uh, breed Chihuahua. Um, she's like the little vanilla caramel color. Her name is Vanilla. And Cosita, which is our new addition. He's three years old. We've had him since. We've had him for three years now. Vanilla's twelve, and Cosita is three. And he is pretty unique, actually. He's a German Shepherd Chihuahua mix. He's a rescue, so yeah, we did. He was rescued from a German Shepherd breeder, obviously, unfortunately. Um, and the dogs got a hold of each other, and boom, Cosita was made. And I don't know why this is a repeated question, but favorite position. I'm going to assume that is being in a financially stable position. There you go. That's my favorite position. Am I currently talking to anybody? No. No, I'm not. That's not what I'm... I'm not focusing on that. Let's just say I'm not going out my way to, like, find anything. But if an opportunity comes to me, 
I won't block my blessings. Sure. What made you start a YouTube? So, I've always just like recording and being behind the camera. Um, I like to capture memories. Like, I'm the person that takes a lot of pictures. Um, I like to document everything. I just like to record just to have funny moments and just look back and just reminisce on the experiences I've had. But yeah, um, but I actually like, like, again, being behind the camera, so. But yeah, that's why. Favorite exercise to do in the gym. Let me start off by saying that I go to the gym to obviously be healthy physically and mentally. I also want a dumpy, like, I want a dump truck. Like, I want to maintain my figure. I want to maintain my dumpy like because i'm gonna enter some pictures of what i used to look like before and what i look like now so you let me know you let me know so i'm gonna end the video there i hope you guys enjoyed um, questions were very interesting but although i didn't get into the all the spicy questions you guys have for me maybe we can do another video on that if you guys do want another video give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and turn your post notifications on to, so that you can get notified every time i post a video I hope you guys enjoyed my Q&A and yeah, I will see you guys later.